my lovers welcome to my channel and welcome to another high tea reading and no it's not weed tea it's high vibrational tea um so i'm going to get the messages first for you or rather the messages that are about you first and then i'm going to get the messages for you that's about your person okay so um let me just give this a stir and then I'm going to gulp it down and then we're going to do some tea leaf readings. Okay, um, if you're subscribed to my website, you would have received um, the email informing you about the opening of all services um, except tarot. Um, but twin checks, spirit release therapy, um, Akashic record reading, the, it's all there. And I'm all, I've also launched, let me get to the messy part of this. Um, I've also launched two new services. One, it is opening and clearing um, your family tree. So you can find out all about that. I'll put a link down below. Okay, so we're basically clearing, well, depending on what you want, either the first generations that came before you or the first eight gener the first, either the first four generations that came before you or the first eight generations that came before you plus um descendants and descendants oh my god of course i knew it i knew it i knew it um one moment <laughs> so because i was there talking up a storm instead of minding my business right i forgot the part about drinking the tea before um <laughs> the reading so i gotta start over because you can't mess with the process Okay, you can't mess with the process. All right, so let's, let me just give it a swirl here. All right, so I was saying, um, you can either clear the four generations that came before you, or you can clear the eight generations that came before you, plus um, your descendants. And descendants can mean nieces and nephews or potential descendants. Um, and plus soul family, and soul family will be um, soulmates, your twin flame um, and, and their family because they're a soul family. Okay, so well, most of them might be actually, most of them are. So, um, yeah, so that's that service. And then remember, I did the pre birth trauma healing um, session um, with those that sign up. You can also have that as a service, either a remote one where I tune in um, to the wound and I'm at womb and I tell you what I pick up from when you were there um, in your gestational period. Um, so that's the remote service. So I pick, I, I tune in and then I heal. Or I also have the option of doing a live one-on-one -on -one where I guide you through the regression um, to the womb space. And then you, both you and I tune in and apply healing together. All right, so those are the two new services that I have on there. So I'll put links down below so you can just go read up um, if you're interested. So <clears throat> this time I'm going to drink the tea. <laughs> uh, I think this is black tea. Gosh. So strong, guys. So freaking strong. Part of my slipping if you do hear it. Enough to leave just like just enough liquid to Make sure the leaves swirl around. Okay, I think that's sufficient. So let's see. Yeah, don't ask me where my paper towels are. Of course, I forgot to put it on my grocery list. <clears throat> I'm going to use bathroom tissue. Oops. Oh 
All right, that looks lovely. Quads, well, quads. All right, so let's see what are the messages um, about you, okay? And whatever we need clarification on, if we need clarification. I'll do it in the extended, but let me get all the messages for you. All right. I see spirit is trying to get your attention um, about something. And it's, it's a project or it's an action that you need to take in order to embrace and clear the path. Just not... It, and they're giving me so much image in my head, so I'm trying to put the story together, right? <laughs> right? Um, whatever this action is, whatever you need to take notice of, it's meant to clear the path to um, your abundance because I'm literally seeing like the pot of gold um, and the kind of lepre leprechaun guiding it, okay? It's meant to take you to um, a, dest a destined destination. <laughs> but I'm really getting it's about abundance. I'm not getting just yet that it's about love. Let me just check... Um, by a love spot okay yeah so whatever's coming up by um your love and romance area it, it's 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 not peaked it's not yeah uh, it's not ripe as yet they're saying it's not ripe as yet it's it's still it's still evolving it's still coming up it's still in the realm of sp the spiritual um and the unknown it's not here um, in the physical yet so it, it is not about love and relationships there's something that's still incubating in that area right um but there's something here that's like overdue the, look the leaf is right on the rim um of the cup here there's something here that is totally overdue um and they're trying to ring the fucking bell hello hello um i'm getting like maybe it is okay let's say you might have applied for a loan. There's something that you forgot um, to file. Or um, if you're studying, um, there, there's there's like a, I don't know if you have, you have a, a chapter or something to finish or you've been putting it off or um, just like there's, a, there's some kind of block to it. Like you feel blocked to it. It's, it's just the resistance just before you make that breakthrough you know you know that um particular meme that people circulate where this guy he's <clears throat> in this cave and he is um digging with um an axe and just before he gets to the water or just before he gets to the pot of gold he gives up spirit saying like you're right there you're right there you just have to push through um and persevere but you are right there and then this thing's like it's long overdue. It's it's ripe. It's it's at it's it's there for the picking, um. But like you're not you're not doing the action. So I'm gonna ask what 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 action you're meant to take. To take, and then up, this question will have a part two. Um, what are you meant to do? Well, it sounds like the same question to be honest well that's why it's one question hey anyways yes yeah, so they're saying this thing is like long with you it's like it's like brimming over this the ancestors have put this there for you and you just plain the ass man <laughs> i don't know you're getting you're getting distracted by something spirit saying because they're, they're trying to get your attention there's this abundance and there's an element of like good luck in this which is a message um i think came through last week about this um questionable luck that's going to come but spirit is saying it's there and it's like it's like it's, you can't see it. <gasps> there's a block in your third eye pause for a cause guys let me get my pendulum we're gonna clear that shit one second guys there's a block in your third eye and it's I just looked at your third eye spot and there's this big block there. One second. Because I was like, why haven't you picked up on this? Because you guys are pretty intuitive. Why haven't you picked up on this? But Spirit is saying, there is a bloody block in your third eye. There's something there. 
All right, so we're going to clear that, guys. We're going to clear that. Um, let, me, let me just prep to it one second. All right. Okay, so if you wish to receive this clearing please say yes now and the intention is whatever might be blocking your third eye and you know what let's hit the crown one time and um, whatever's blocking your crown whatever's blocking your third eye whatever is blocking your intuition whether it be you blocking yourself someone blocking you life circumstances if you may have had um covid or if you've just had the covid vaccine that also does it i've had the vaccine and i've had covid um, both of them, um, they really f screw up your chakras. All right. So if it's any of those things or anything that I've not named, we're asking that that all be cleared. Let it be cleared, removed and sent back to the light. To accept this clearing, please say yes now. And you know what, whilst we're here, anything blocking um, viewer chakras, anything at all, whatever it is, might be illness, might be anxiety, um, might be life circumstances, whatever it is. Anything that might be blocking or misaligning their chakras. Clear, remove, send to the light. And we're asking that all chakras be brought back into alignment and, let, and that they be optimized. If you wish to receive this clearing, please say yes now. Please say yes now. Beautiful. Beautiful, because I was like, why is spirit saying they've been trying to get your attention and not listening? You've been blocked, babes. Okay. Yeah, because there's this, the, when I look at the message center, look, there's this outstanding letter that's here for you. So some of them, some of you, you definitely need to check um, maybe a physical post box, but that's what, what I'm getting. I'm getting like, there's this message like, hello, listen to us. And you're not, you weren't listening. You were not listening, guys. Okay, so there was some sort of block in your third eye. All right, let's see what else is here besides the tissue paper. Anyways. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so in love and relationships, I see that there's something bubbling. Okay, there's something brewing here. But this coffee ain't ready. It ain't ready. It's, it's, look where it is. Right, it's kind of midway point. So there's something that is incubating, something that's been um, being prepped by spirit, but spirit saying it's not ready just yet. Okay, it is still in the realm um, of the unconscious. I can tell that you've been doing um, a lot of self-love um, work. I can see it here um, because in the area that usually indicates some sort of codependency, that area is absolutely blank. So you've been closing off a lot of cycles related to a lack of self-love or abandoning yourself, rejecting yourself um, just to please others. So you know what? Your guys are very proud of you. There's, there's absolutely nothing here. And in fact, in the spot of um, uh, your self-love, I see that it's, it's basically um, your cup is almost overflowing. You've been really giving back to yourself. Um, and it is showing in this reading. You are in balance, both masculine and feminine energies. I'm really in balance. So you've been doing exactly what you're meant to do um, at this time. Now that you're unblocked, you're going to find that there's going to be a rush of downloads um, coming in. And these downloads are going to be related to scorpionic, um, scorpionic themes. And scorpionic themes is death sex and transformation okay so things in these three areas or three realms are going to be coming up for you for healing and perhaps action <laughs> perhaps action and maybe some of you do, do do need some action okay if you want to be honest with yourself <laughs> but there's something here that needs to be brought back into balance i definitely think that there's a total transformation um that is afoot i mean the kind of work you've been doing on yourself, love your codependencies, it, it's 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 obvious. It's obvious, right? What else is happening here? <clears throat> there's there's a family secret that you are. Uh, 
going to find i don't know where the hell that come from guys okay um there's a family secret that you're gonna find out about um within a month's time yeah it, it's exactly a month's time um you're gonna find out it, it's whatever work that you've been doing has kind of st stirred it up at the bottom and it is making its way um to the surface you know we go in an axe, right? <coughs> and we're gonna find out who who is involved. I have a, actually have a, a chart for that. Who's involved? You know we like the tea. Um, what else is here? What else is here for you guys? Um, for a lot of you, you're gonna feel um, your divine masculine <clears throat> in your energy. A whole lot. <laughs> a whole lot. I see them firmly rooted there. And it's not just them alone, guys. There's like like former other people. Um that is going to be like the word I'm getting orbiting. <laughs> orbiting you like if you're the bloody sun. Because you're gonna be shining. You're gonna be shining. Um I see that here. You're going to be shining. There's something about um the mystery of you. Um, that is going to be magnetizing um, suitors. So do not be surprised if they just like pop up out of the, the woodwork. People they didn't even... People got not even on your radar. They're not even on your radar. But you are definitely on theirs, okay? So um, expect that. All right, so let's read the messages about your person um, that Spirit wants you to know. What's the, <clears throat> what's the most significant thing that's happening in their life? Um, they're trying to be a workaholic. <laughs> I say trying to be um, a workaholic um, because they are being blocked. I think for a lot of you, your person, this is how they try to escape from their reality. I mean, I mean there might be other escapist things that they do. But I think one of their go-tos is, is work. But not even that is um, offering the usual comfort, the usual break from the anxiety um, that this person suffers, okay? Um, they're, they're being blocked. And, and they're not seeing any progress where that is concerned. And they've been absolutely stymied. But they don't realize it's spirit that's blocking them because spirit is trying to bring their attention to um, some sort of deception. But it's not just deception by others. It is also a self-deception um, that they have. So then we can ask that. How is your person deceiving themselves? Because I'm really getting that strongly. That is, it's not others, it's them. It's, de it's definitely them. Um, <clears throat> in their arena of love, and it's so strange, they have a lot of things happening to two sex sectors. So, and I almost said sex. Um, two sectors. And to me, and there's even a bridge that's bridging these two sectors. And it, this is usually the devil position here, or what we call the codependent position. And there's the love position. And then there's, look, if you look, there's, there's, a, there's a flicking bridge. There's a bridge that they're meant to cross. So right now your person, they're faced with a choice. Do they continue um, in something very codependent and toxic? Or do they cross that bridge that's been made by spirit um, into the land of love? Um, I see 
there are two ancestors here that's trying to support your person um, into making the right choices um, at this point. Um, and what they're pointing your person to do is to do a lot of work um, on their self-love in order to purge and get clarity on the decisions that they need to make. Um, in their sector of codependency, if you look here, look, the leaf is even overflowing the cup because there's something long outstanding, long overdue, um, that's basically taking over a person's life, some kind of codependent habit um, that's taking over a person's life that, is, that has come to roost, that has come home to roost. Um, it is now impacting your person's life in such, a, in such a profound way. And maybe because I said sex, for some of you, it might be some sort of um, sex addiction that they may have had, okay? Um, some kind of skewed relationship that they have with sex that's now coming uh, and taking over their life. I, I can ask. What's this, what is this codependency? They're being asked to purge this. It's a purge. So they're actually purging it. They are purging. We're well, Alex. Okay. Well, it's like your person is completely stirred up. It's like from what I see here, like in, in nearly every sector of their life, in nearly every sector of their life, um, there, there's some shit going on. And that's why I feel um, an energy of overwhelm at this time. Um, I feel them um, going within themselves, not socializing um, too much. Not depending on anything on the outside of themselves. answers they are they are going deep and, and and a lot of stuff is being um stirred up for them is it in every sector of their life there's stuff going on there's stuff going on i mean i feel like your person might be going through some sort of um like adrenal fatigue that's that's the energy I'm getting because even now, as I tap into this, like my energy level has just gone down, absolutely. Um, adrenal fatigue is just, just you know just just too much shit going on, and you can only run on adrenaline and, and, and cortisol for for so long, for so long, you know. All right. So in the extended, I'm gonna ask those questions, but let me find out what, what advice spirit has for you at this juncture. <clears throat> what advice does spirit have for you? Follow your own rhythm. Right now, do your own thing. Do your own thing because they have to do their own thing. They have to really focus on themselves right now. The spirit is asking you to really just go with the flow. However you feel, you feel. Whatever you want to um, do, you do. Who you want to talk to, you talk to. We have spirals of manifestation. 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 You know what I just said? You've got the power. <laughs> You've got the power. And it's a card number 18, which is the moon. And the moon is the unknown, right? It's psychic abilities, it's spirit, it's ancestors, um, it's all of that, but it can also be shadow. But I'm not getting a shadow. I'm getting um, the lighter side of the moon, which is that Cancerian energy, the natural mystic. Spirit is saying, right now, you've got the power. You can manifest anything that you want to, including another karmic cycle if you want to, but I don't think that's where you're heading. <laughs> all right. And look, I see the energy is flowing into her crown now. Beautiful. Uh, let's let's read this one. <clears throat> but you've got the power. All right, spirals of manifestation. The creative, rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It's not linear. 
Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to make clear steps from one point to the next logical point. However, there's a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route. <laughs> the scenic route. <laughs> if there's an unnecessary pothole or delay in the typical linear path of progression and the curve loop in the path will be quicker, more fun and more beautiful, then why not allow yourself to be guided to that path? This can happen through trust and wisdom rather than rigid adherence to what the surface appears to be logical progression. So maybe you found in your life right now, um, maybe your efforts are being stymied. Maybe you're feeling kind of stuck. Maybe you're feeling like you're looping and you're not, you're not um, seeing progress. But Spirit is saying, that's not what's happening. What's happening is a divine detour. <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here. You are in the midst of a spiral of manifestation. Something is coming into being. We saw that, right? Even if you think it's further away than ever before. And that's the image of, like, that I got of the man with the axe, right? You think that there's something that seems far off, like you're moving away from it, from it instead of towards it. But spiritually, in actuality, you're moving towards it by moving away from it. You know, sometimes you get closer to a thing or a person just by stepping back. I'm feeling that like that's what's going on here. So you're being asked to like go within instead of going towards, it seems. How amazing it will seem when what you've been dreaming of falls into place. Suddenly, what you've been thinking of creating will plunk into your reality, seemingly out of nowhere, because it was just around the bend, just out of view, on the spiral of manifestation, and you could not see it coming. In truth, it was coming to you all along. This oracle has a message for you. Sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what we want, we are actually closer than before. Just one more turn in the spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Forget about believing it when you're seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are a bigger, braver, more ancient soul. You have more shitspa. Um, to believe it so that you can see it sooner, better, and brighter. <clears throat> this oracle also brings a message to you about the perfect synchronicities that are taking place in your life. You have started to notice these already. When we live from the heart, on our creative center, and choose unlikely but lovingly rebellious ways to be in the world, we will begin to notice synchronicity every day. Facts. Facts. It's as though the universe is speaking to us intimately on all matters, which of course, it is. This oracle also reminds you that there's no point rushing to the bus stop. If you're way too early, you're just wasting your time. Better to live your life at a more appropriate place, pace and get there at the right time. Remember too that your path is unfolding in harmony with the path of others. You will meet each other for the greatest benefit when you trust in the flow of the, of the one great creative spiral upon which this galaxy spins. And there's a healing process here. They want you to say, Spirals of creation, spirals of light. You bring my manifestation to life. I trust in your wisdom and your grace. Help me to be wise and keep the faith. And then you repeat as needed and you would have complete the healing process so spirit saying have faith it may seem like you're moving away from the thing that you want maybe your person feeling distant maybe you're having a little money worries right now spirit saying the breakthrough is right around the corner you just have to keep faith okay so my loves that was your reading i'm going to go into the extended ask the questions we identified um just a reminder that bookings are open i'll put some links down below for the opening, the, um, the power of the unclearing the family tree and also um, that um, womb regression. Okay, at my loves, that was your reading. I hope that was helpful.